Stop orders. Set it and forget it. What exactly does that mean? So let's think about Thanksgiving time, right? You got a turkey in the oven. 30 minutes, your company's going to show up and you realize I forgot the cranberry sauce. And you've got to skate out. You've got to go buy that cranberry sauce before the company shows up. But you don't have an oven that you could set to turn off and you can't pull the turkey out early because then it's not going to be done. But if you had that oven that could, you could turn off and you could set it and forget it, you could run out, boom, everything done. So take that same concept and let's apply it to the market, right? You've got stock ABC that you own. Let's just say you bought it at $100. Um, but you are about to leave on vacation and you want to put an order in place so that if that stock were to trade down to $95, it would then trigger an order to sell that stock at the market while you're away. That way you don't have to be in front of your computer to put that order in on the day that it may trade down to $95. So in effect, it's kind of like a set it and forget it, right? You put that order in, that way if you're away from your computer and the market does hit $95, it triggers your sell order and then puts an order into the market to sell it at the market. That's a stop order.